building our own gaming PC is something exciting, nerve-wracking, and rewarding experience. It allows us to build something personalized to us according to our own budget, specification, and performance. So today I'm going to show you guys how a newbie, a first-timer like me, can build a gaming PC. Alright guys, welcome to Trending Roma. I'm an accountant and a photographer based in Doha. From now onwards, I'll be sharing photography, videography, related videos, behind the scenes, gadget reviews, how I do lighting, how I do editing, and many kind of videos. If you are really into this kind of videos, definitely subscribe for latest updates. Also, you guys can follow my Instagram, doha.photographer. I'll be constantly posting my photography in this page. I have selected components with a budget of $3,000 to enjoy smooth 4K gaming and to smash through heavy workload tasks such as streaming and video rendering. The motherboard I am using for this extreme PC build is ASUS ROG 6 B550F Gaming with Wi-Fi which is compatible and fit for our all other components and supports up to 128GB of RAM. Our PC's brain is Ryzen 7 3700X. This chip is a beast with an octa-core processor that utilizes AMD SMP technology for a total of 16 threads. I have selected Corsair Venegans Pro 32GB of RAM with a frequency of 3600MHz and RGB lights. Samsung 970 M.2 SSD is one of the most popular solid state solutions which is faster than traditional spinning hard drives. Our power supply unit is Seasonic Focus Plus 750W Gold Certified Fully Modular comes with 10 year warranty for its superior quality. The PSU is the beating heart of our extreme PC gaming PC. It's essential to add a superior PSU here because if the power supply goes wrong, it could take a lot of other expensive parts with it. Our GPU is GeForce RTX 2078 GB with 3 display ports and 1 HDMI port. This allows us smooth gameplay at refresh rates up to 240Hz plus HDR. This is the most expensive single component I will be adding to our machine. Cooler Master TD500 is my choice for our PC's case. This polygonal mesh front panel provides both style and airflow in the front of the case. On the other side, we can find a crystalline tempered glass panel and the case includes three addressable RGB fans. Also, this case has a roomy interior inside and there is a PSU shroud, cable management holes, tie-offs which will make the PC easier to keep looking clean. Also, the most important component of this gaming PC is the monitor. I have selected LG 27 inches 4K IPS panel as my monitor which supports AMD FreeSync as this will reduce screen tearing and further improve our gameplay experience. Let's install the CPU first. Start by unlocking the CPU bar. We can place the CPU in the right direction. The arrows are marked on both CPU and the motherboard. Also, we will plug the CPU cooler into the motherboard so it will keep our CPU sufficiently cool and allow us to get the best performance from system. Memory is one of the most straightforward components to install. The clips at the end of the slot that will make a satisfying click when it is fully inserted. Alongside the RAM, the M.2 SSD drive is one of the easiest things to install. Unscrew this shield from the motherboard by removing the screws. This shield can be reinstalled afterwards and helps dissipate heat and improve performance. Slide the M.2 SSD gently into the slot. It will slide off the motherboard about a 35 degree angle. Push the SSD down and replace the tiny screw to lock it in place. Before I slot GPU in, I need to remove the cover from the rear of the case. This is a strip of metal held in place with a thumb screw. I will remove two of these in order to fit the connectors to the back of the case so I can plug them into a monitor. Make sure it clicks into a place properly and is secured with screws when installed. The next stage is where things can get messy and fiddly, plugging in all the power cables. The more components we have in our gaming PC, the more cables need to be plugged in. It should be relatively straightforward, but keeping the cables neat can be difficult.
I spent like two days building this gaming PC and this is the final satisfying outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions about this build, comment below. My next video will be a behind the scenes video of a latest photo session. So please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. I'll see you guys in the next video.